So, okay, about a month ago, um, I was asleep and I was awakened and led to read Genesis 40 through 40's Hill. And um, just to summarize it, it is about um, Joseph who was thrown into, uh, sold into slavery by his brothers um, who was jealous. Um, they took his coat and um, while being locked up, he encountered um, Pharaoh's chief baker and cupbearer. And while being locked up with these gentlemen, um, he, they both had dreams and Joseph interpreted the dreams, okay? And I get, I'm getting happy because, um, you know, we all encounter people who covet, who are jealous, who want what God said was yours. But I just came by really, really quickly to say that, um, People wanting your coat or wanting what you have or praying and coveting over things that you have um, does not counsel the divine favor and honor that God is about to bestow upon you, okay? He is about to restore you back to your rightful place. What God has proclaimed in heaven over your life is about to come to pass here on earth. Yes, we had to endure some uncomfortable seasons, you know, but being obedient, not giving up, staying put, staying in his will, you know, and not even questioning God sometimes, um, it pays off. So I just came by to tell you, let them have the coat, okay? They can't open the door that's meant for you. They can't close the door that's meant for you, okay? Your destiny is your destiny. And... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Stay put. Your destiny is your destiny. They can't have what's yours. That's just the truth. Um, so I pray that this word encourages somebody to stay put and keep fighting. Because it's not over yet. Until God says it's over. Have a blessed day.